Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, I am Dave Hayes um, and this review is going to be on Screwed. Uh, this is Screwed Nougat. Um, uh, I just want you guys to uh, be aware that uh, that pretty much every one of these um, ROMs and reviews that I've been uh, putting out lately are uh, are all beta builds, alright? And they're all what they consider to be test builds. So, you guys need to keep that in mind if you're going to flash it, um, that you may end up with some bugs or something like that, um, but you have to take that with a little bit of grain of salt, all right? Now, uh, I haven't found any bugs, at, at least at all on this one, as far as it's ROM related. Now, I did run into a little bit of a, a bug uh, when it comes to theming, but again, I don't think it's related to the ROM itself uh, as much as it is to the themes. Uh, some themes I've, I've actually had to uh, put on twice, um, and I actually had to do a reboot, and you're not supposed to do a reboot with the type of uh, uh, OMS or substratum that is uh, included in with this ROM, and we'll get to that later. Uh, but I wanted you guys to see who the developer is. Uh, the developer's name is uh, Mr. Apocalypse, um, and remember, again, guys, I cannot stress this enough. This is a test build. There may be bugs, Okay. Um, we're done with that. We're going to go ahead and get into uh, About Phone. Uh, this is Android version 7.0 for the Nexus 6. Um, it's got all, all the latest security patches on it, and I am running Elemental, cur or Elemental X kernel um, quickly because uh, I am running multi-ROM. Uh, no other reason than that. I need that Kexic hard boot patch, and I'm not sure that the, uh, um, the supplied kernel uh, has it. Um, just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the screwed settings. And first up, under the UI, is going to be status bar. Uh, we have a carrier label, custom carrier label. Uh, you guys can go ahead and put in whatever you want with that. If you look at the upper left-hand corner, uh, I actually have screwed up there. Uh, you have your clock settings, right, left, center, AM, PM, date, date style, format, position. The whole nine yards is there. Uh, battery display, really cool. Uh, I like the fact they give you that little droid up there. Um, other than just the, the normal battery settings that they give you. Um, now, I've got the droid set up, uh, and it also, when you plug it in, um, they give you the option to color it, and it does work when you plug it in. I, it would be awesome if you could just color that always, um, so we could put a little bit of color up there as opposed to all that white. Um, you know, maybe, maybe they will later on. We'll have to see. You know, you can change the color as you're charging, whatever. Uh, but hopefully, uh, that'll, that'll come out later. Um, quickly, I uh, just want to spend a little time on 3-Minute Battery Mod. Uh, my guess is 3-Minute Battery Mod will definitely work on this ROM. Um, it, all it takes is as long as, it's de uh, as, long as the ROM is deodexed. Uh, if it's not, as long as a certain apps in the system UI um, and your framework res is deodexed, which pretty much can be done, just go to, the, uh, go to my Google Plus community under the linked... Um, under the uh, pinned links that I have at the top of my community, uh, scroll down till you find, it should be right at the top, uh, the three minute mod for the Nexus 6. Click on that, ask search 826 if he will build you a zip. Make sure you supply him with the framework res app and the system UI app and a link to the ROM. And he would be more than happy to build you a uh, three minute mod zip uh, for, this, for this ROM. Um, next up is going to be the uh, screwed logo. You can color it if you want. You don't have to run it if you want. You guys know me. I like to run them if they uh, supply them. Uh, double tap to sleep. Uh, under notifications, you have your forced uh, expanded notifications. Um, your ticker, your heads up, all that is there. Uh, they also have the breathing notifications. Uh, and then under the, uh, um, the icons, you have your system uh, status bar icons. You can actually pick and choose. Uh, what you want to even show on that, which is a standard uh, feature of uh, Nougat um, and even Marshmallow for that uh, for that fact. Um, and uh, then you do have the network traffic all the way at the bottom if you want it. You know, you want to show your network traffic, uh, there you go. Um, I usually only show it if I can color it, uh, and it doesn't allow us to color it, so I'm, I just left it out. Uh, now, under screen, or your, uh, your quick settings, uh, brightness slider, icon, you know, your uh, vibrate to touch, advanced data tiles, all there. Uh, quick pull down feature uh, and, and your smart pull down feature. Um, under the tile layouts, uh, I have mine set up um, three and four. 
Uh, I'd really kind of like it if they gave us uh, a little bit more options than just four uh, underneath rows. Uh, it seems to me uh, that five, at least five, fits the screen pretty good. Six is perfect. Um, that's just my preference, again. Uh, but that's how you set all that up. They do have both the portrait and the landscape mode. Uh, next up is going to be the expand desktop. And all this is is a list of your apps that are capable of being expanded. You just pick and choose which ones you want to allow uh, to even do that. Uh, next up is going to be animations. They've got quite a few animations on here. Uh, you can disable them uh, right off the top have, and run with no animations. Uh, of course, they have scrolling cache. Uh, and then uh, on our power menu, um, I actually have rotation on, and I'll show you what that means. If I click and hold for my power menu, it rotates when it comes up. Uh, you guys can do with that whatever you want. Um, then your quick setting tiles. Uh, I have mine rotate, I have it on fast, and I have it on linear. Uh, you guys can actually go with a, a, you know, some kind of different interpolar. Um, that's up to you. Uh, system animations. Quite a few of them. I don't really mess with the system animations at all. Uh, I think that um, uh, Nougat, uh, I, I kind of like the way the animations are in Nougat, uh, so I leave them alone. That's just my preference. Uh, list view. Um, again, that's another thing I don't mess with, but if you guys are into that, uh, these are the settings that they have. Basically what that is, is if you set it and you scroll through a list, uh, it messes with the animations on that. Uh, then you have your toast animations all the way at the bottom, and again guys, you can set that up however you want. Uh, next up are going to be the recent settings. Um, we do have hidden apps uh, and immersive recents. Um, one of the features I like uh, you know, especially with uh, Marshmallow, Lollipop Marshmallow, and now Nougat are the recents. Uh, I usually always go with the full screen. Uh, it gives you the look like this. Um, and I also, the thing I'm running gives me a rounded uh, top edge look. Um, another nice thing is it's uh, also included in this ROM is Omni. So if you guys want to run Omni Switch, uh, that is going to be where you go for that. Uh, let's see, notifications. Uh, you have your power notification controls. If you guys are into uh, messing with that, there's that. Uh, also, uh, notification lights. This is going to be where you're going to set up your, uh, your LED light. One of the things I really miss uh, with Marshmallow um, and before, uh, ROMs before that, is being able to set this up uh, differently for others. Um, but, you know, uh, it may come. Uh, let's see, that was it for notifications. Uh, screen color and appearance, that's going to be your dark, your dark mode, your night mode, uh, and then of course your uh, calibrate display. Uh, if we swipe to the right, that's going to bring up our system settings, and I need to get a drink here real quick. Ah, I love my, love my Rockstar punched. Uh, power menu, that's going to be up first. A lot of options to choose from here. Uh, nothing over the top, but again, uh, there are uh, the options on this are just right for me, uh, and uh, kudos for them for throwing them in. Uh, I think it's just right. Uh, sounds that's going to be uh, these. You can set up your or your uh, volume rockers to do pretty much uh, anything you want. Uh, lock screen settings. They have a lot of settings for lock screen. Um, it's 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 crazy actually. Uh, it, for uh, a new good ROM, this is like one of two ROMs out that have this many settings. Uh, it's actually very nice. Um, even the weather settings and all that works on there. You go to the weather settings, that's going to show you, um, you know, your setup. Uh, and then there are other places that you can go, uh, which we will get. Oh, location settings. This is going to bring up your uh, widget weather settings. And once you uh, do everything that you need to do in there. Uh, that will actually uh, enable it on your lock screen. Um, the other thing on the lock screen, center shortcuts. Uh, the center shortcuts are working. You can put in whatever you like. Uh, I'll show you what mine looks like. And they're not showing now. Oh, I know why. It's my theme. <laughs> the theme completely took them off. <laughs> but anyways, uh, they do work. Uh, I know. I, they were on there be, uh, until I put this theme on. So uh, there's a bug with the theme. Uh, let's see, uh, that was uh, lock screen up is going to be miscellaneous. Uh, this is going to give you your flashlight notification, disable immersive mode, and of course your uh, for, uh, disable force close notifications. Uh, battery LED, this is going to be reset up your, uh, your lights for your battery charging. If we slide to the right, that's going to bring up our navigation. 
Uh, it's gonna, first up is going to be the navigation bar. Uh, they do have fling settings on here. I'm not sure if it works. I haven't tried it. So we're going to go ahead and go into the navigation mode, hit fling, um, and I'll let you guys see what the settings are. Again, guys, I don't profess to know much about fling. I don't use it. Um, and I've tried it. It does work. It does work when it, you know, when you find one that works and works good, uh, it does work for you. It's just too much going on for me. Again, I'm kind of old school. I like to just the standard, uh, you know, the standard navigation mode, uh, which is the smart bar. Uh, these are your smart bar settings. And uh, last but not least under this is going to be Pulse, uh, and Pulse is working good. I know I've uh, I tested it, was watching some YouTube videos, uh, and the way you get it to work while watching YouTube videos is don't go full screen. Uh, then you'll get that. It comes up nice, works very nice. And uh, Pi Control, uh, that's another thing I didn't test. Uh, we're going to do it live on, uh, on the video right here. Um, I just want to make sure that my gravity is set right. Uh, pi size gravity is set for left. Let's see if it, There it is. Yep, Pi's working. So if you guys are into Pi, there you go. <laughs> uh, I don't use Pi. You know, I used to quite a while ago, um, back when I first started getting into it, back in Jelly Bean, I think it was. Uh, I actually used Pi quite a bit, and um, it just seems like, I don't know, it was a cool feature back then, but I very rarely use it now, especially with a bigger phone. It's just, you know. Uh, I'm, I am going to run through the display settings real quick, let you guys see what's in there. Uh, it's pretty much standard. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, you, have, you have your ambient display and all that, auto-rotate uh, auto screen. I do have my screen set up, or did have it set up. Uh, at a, Oh, no, I, I, I had it set up at 180 degrees. Um, I did have to reflash this ROM. Um, I was testing some other kernels out, and I had a major issue with one of them. I'm not going to mention the name. Uh, with one of the kernels, and I had to redo it. Uh, it wasn't the kernel's fault. It was mine. It was the way I flashed it. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I have that at 180 but it does work uh, if you click every one of those settings uh, the screen will rotate uh, completely upside down if you want it or if you flip it 180 degrees um, yeah uh, that's pretty much it for display uh, they do have your font size again uh, you can set that up however you want you have your, your uh, display that shows you uh, what it looks like uh, for whatever option that you pick uh, under sounds Again, nothing out of the uh, ordinary on sounds, uh, and, and these are your other sound settings. Uh, screenshot and camera shutter are going to be underneath this as well. And advanced options are going to show your safe headset volume. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, and uh, your less frequent notifications. And uh, I think we'll go down to security, and I'll let you guys scroll through that uh, so you can see if there's anything uh, on there that you you know that you guys like. Uh, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. It's all it all looks the same. Uh, again, if you guys are uh, new to Android, make sure you have unknown sources uh, turned on. Uh, that will allow you to flash or install uh, an app off of the your internal storage or uh, you know any kind of app you download. Uh, last but not least, we are going to hit the uh, developer options. Um, not a lot in here, at least uh, anything that I use. Uh, make sure that you have that Android debugging turned on. Uh, that way if you hit a wall, especially because you guys would be, if you're running this as a test build, uh, so I highly advise you to put turn that on just in case you hit a wall. Uh, you can push files to the phone through ADB. Um, yeah, really nothing here. Uh, again, animation scales, uh, they come set. At one, uh, I always set my animations on Nougat down to 0.5. It just seems to uh, uh, run a little more fluid for me, uh, and it doesn't get rid of all the animations. So I highly recommend 0.5. And that is about it. Uh, by the way, guys, Super Su comes with the ROM. You do not have to do anything. It's there. As soon as you boot up, it's working. Okay? Uh, pretty much it. And that is Screwed N. Again, this is the very first or the test builds of uh, Screwed Nougat. Um, I very highly recommend you guys give this one a try. Uh, again, no issues at all. A uh, couple bugs uh, with the theme engine and the themes, um, but it was, as far as the ROM goes, ROM's running great. 
Um, I haven't had any force closes. Uh, I don't have any scrolling issues with it. Uh, video, audio, Bluetooth, data, all of it's working. Um, yes, my icon's showing I have no data. That's because my SIM card's out. <laughs> I have it in my Nexus 6P in case I get a phone call. Um, I don't have it muted. I can hear my phone ring. Uh, but yeah, data's working. So guys, if you like the video, uh, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Um, I want to thank every one of my subscribers. You guys are you guys are awesome. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, keep the comments coming. Uh, you guys know that I, at least uh, for, for now, I can. Uh, I do answer every single post. Uh, so keep them coming. And guys, I will see you on the next one.